Pichai, Prara. Born in 1741, Prara Pichai was, from early childhood, fond of practising Mao Thai kickboxing, to the point that when his parents forbade him from doing so, he continued to train in secret. When he was aged around 20, Pichai went to a festival that was being held in a town called Tak. There was a ring set up, inside of which was a famous fighter named Arjun Nai Hyao, whom no one had yet dared challenge. I'll fight him, called out Pichai from the crowd. Up he went into the ring, where an overconfident howl charged towards him. In spectacular fashion, and much to the watching crowd's amazement, Pichai soon beat him. Also watching that day was Pra Taksin, the future king of Siam, present-day Thailand. For the country was at that time under Burmese occupation, and he was quick to make Pichai his personal bodyguard. With the Burmese forces engaged in fighting the Chinese, General Taksin, as he was then known, soon succeeded in raising an army of which Pichai was made commander-in-chief. Pichai easily translated his Mao Thai skills onto the battlefield, with the result that the Burmese were driven out of Siam and General Taksin made king. It was tradition that when the king died, his bodyguards and most loyal servants were executed. However, his successor, King Rama, stated in Pichai's case an exception could be made. So invaluable had he been in securing his country's freedom from an occupying force that his life would be spared. That means nothing to me, said Pichai sadly. My king is dead, so please kill me too. Perplexed, King Rama nevertheless granted the 41-year-old fighter his wish, and in 1969 a bronze statue was finally made to honour him, the inscription, in memory and loving honour for the pride of our nation.